Rue. You look amazing. I, from a very young age, understood how one can express themselves through the clothes they wear. Clothing is such a beautiful way to sort of explore how you feel in your body and to like have some control. For storytelling, it's one of the important aspects of creating character for an audience. I'm so honored to be nominated, but really it's all of us that have been nominated for a costume because we all collaborated. Congrats to Heidi! <laughs> I think I just remember when reading the episodes, just pretty clearly being able to see uh, what the characters looked like in my head. It was pretty easy and quick for Hunter and I to find a shorthand and find a way to collaborate from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. She sent me mood boards, which took time for her to put together. She was invested in finding the look for the character. Before I got cast in Euphoria, I was preparing to go to fashion school. And so when Heidi reached out asking if I had any ideas to contribute, I was so pumped. When I first got the script, I had a feeling it could be an important opportunity to show looks that had never been seen before on television, to be able to portray young people in a way that hadn't been seen. Love that. Like perf. You look different. I changed. We use at least like 50% vintage on the female cast, so it's always great when you find good vintage pieces that work for the characters because you're not gonna see it everywhere. But I also did a lot of sourcing on Instagram for small brands all over the world, and Hunter has introduced me to a lot of great designers. I remember bringing in like a big bag of some of my personal items. Yeah, not only that, some days you'd show up on set, even, yeah. if, even if you weren't working and you were just visiting, sometimes she'd show up on set and I'm like, wait, what, are, what is that? What are you wearing? What is that? <laughs> so she makes me look good. <laughs> I think it's so special to take into account the actor's opinion, at least with a show like this, where some actors have bodies that aren't necessarily like the norm. And also particularly because we were gonna be seeing Jules in her underwear, and I had been thinking about whether or not I wanted to be tucked for some of the shots. And Heidi made the effort to find underwear that was untucked friendly. And um, you know, there's a lot of power in like seeing a young trans girl not really trying to conform to a cisgender standard in that way. When I was trying to source for season one, I think there was like only one designer I could find who was making the kind of intimate garments that I wanted. And when we started prepping for season two, it was so much easier for me to find designers who were making what I needed. So we're evolving as humans and mm -hmm. um, it's happening hopefully yeah. all over. Some new girl in town that I think you're gonna be friends with. She came in yesterday looking all Sailor Moon and shit. The colors that we chose for Jewel specifically from the beginning were definitely inspired by Sam's vision. I think from the original notes in the script, we always felt like Jules was very feminine and very like candy colored. And he wrote that she wears the cheerleading like kind of tennis skirts and is into Sailor Moon. It starts off very feminine and uh, like pastel, and then she moves into something darker as the season moves forward, and she kind of gets a little darker. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth. Rue is the easy one for me. I mean, I'm wearing like a shirt right now that could be a Rue shirt. I grew up skateboarding and snowboarding and that 90s vibe started coming back. So I leaned into that and she's not like shopping for clothes. So she could have found something in someone's back seat of their car. You know, she's sleeping over at someone's house. She like grabs something else. She's wearing her dad's sweatshirt. We wanted to choose a piece that she held onto from her dad that was sentimental. 
I know those sneakers go with her everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think she wore them on Spider-Man. Yeah, it just became an obvious choice that those would be Rue's shoes because there's also the idea of her not wanting to be defined by any like feminine ideal. The fact that you usually dress like Seth Rogen, although you make it cute sometimes, like it crushes my soul. For Cassie's skating costume, Sam had pulled a reference from a film from the 40s. It was based on this like super extravagant, almost like a ball gown. And then it was like, okay, take this and translate that. From the beginning, Sam always said that he wanted girls all over to see someone on the street wearing some amazing look and say, that's so Maddie. She, Alexa, has amazing style already and was willing to collaborate with me. The idea of her wearing sets was there from the beginning. What are you, a dominatrix? No. Kat, she's really going through this extreme change. Once she starts wearing that cat mask, she really starts coming out of her shell. There's nothing more powerful than a fat girl who doesn't give a fuck. Why wow, you look fucking cool. Wow. In episode six, we were first thinking about how each character would approach acquiring the pieces for their costume and just trying to riff on the original references and then kind of just do our own thing. I'm Bob Ross, the painter from PBS. When I first read that in the script, I laughed out loud. Sam had chosen some costumes that were not necessarily like Gen X references and they landed. We have a friend, Seth Pratt, who painted the flowers on Maddie's Jodie Foster and Taxi Driver costume. Seth also helped us build Kat's costume. I designed the rope piece she wears over, and she's wearing a slip underneath, and then the body harness, and then we did the rosaries. It was actually Kat Danabasis, my assistant costume designer, who's been nominated with me, who had the idea for the latex habit. I was so excited when I read that Sam wrote in Jules dressed up as Juliet, specifically the 90s version. Heidi found this amazing vintage dress that I think we had to make three versions of because of the water scenes. And then for the wings, Heidi, didn't you get like the actual person who made the yeah. 90s wings? Yeah. Those wings were like unreal. I loved wearing those things. Stop doing it. I'm just so thankful to be a part of this show and to like have come out of the first season with a family. It's been a real honor to tell stories that help an audience feel seen. And I know that there's a lot of sensitive subject in the first season, but I think it's an extremely important show and I've just been really honored to be able to be a part of it.